back, you may have taken a trip down the Oconee River, tubing, canoeing, maybe even kayaking. Well, the next time you go down, keep your eyes open for artifacts from the past, because as Suzanne Lawler shows us, one group of guys brought home an incredible find. Yeah, four guys went out on a trip with black water paddle. It was a five day trip, and on the fourth night, well, they stopped at a sandbar to camp. And what they found, well, one day might sit in a museum. The words really can't describe how exciting that was. Um, knowing that we just found a piece of history that could be 100 years old. Jamie Brack was on that canoe trip last fall. The adventure began when another guy, James Thompson, went out to look for firewood. Well, I was like, if it's hollow, uh, tapered it both. I was like, there's no way. There's no way this is what I think it is. But James pegged it right. He had stumbled upon an old, well-preserved canoe. He ran back to tell his friends. Looked upon this uh, very humbly. Um, we were very much taken back by history. Because there was some thought put into it. You know, the, the, the stern and the bow, they were probably 10 inches thick. The crew upended it, gently tied it to their kayaks, and paddled eight miles with their treasure in tow. When they got home, they contacted a lot of organizations, and Georgia Southern said they would love to have it. Professor Kurt Norrell brought his students out to take a look and pick it up. Right now, uh, the canoe is at the uh, Georgia Southern University uh, Archaeological Warehouse and Storage Facility. Norrell says because of COVID-19, they haven't gotten a chance to run tree ring tests that will tell them the exact age, but he estimated for us. And it's clear that someone spent a lot of time trying to finally shape this. And that, to me, would sort of push the data to um, the mid to late 19th century. So sometime in the 1800s. As for the guys, well, even though they may have had a once in a lifetime experience, they say they'll always keep their eyes open when they're out on central Georgia waterways. Uh, we're going to be looking for anything that we can possibly find. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. That is neat. Once Georgia Southern restores the canoe, they hope to put it on display next spring. Norrell says this is the second boat found in the Oconee that's been donated to them. The first one dates back to the 1700s.